is a site that most people have never seen or heard of before. There's a location in the Western Sahara Desert of Mauritania called the Rishat Structure. It's also commonly referred to as the Eye of the Sahara. In a stunning revelation that has left the world in awe, scientists have unveiled a mind-boggling secret hidden beneath the puzzling gaze of the Sahara Desert. Joe Rogan just announced a sudden discovery under the eye of the Sahara Desert, and it's nothing short of extraordinary. Beneath the seemingly endless sea of dunes lies an underground realm filled with life, an oasis of prehistoric wonders that challenge our very understanding of the world. But what could this hidden world mean for the future of our planet, and what other astonishing secrets may be hiding? Under Earth's surface? Join us as we unravel what scientists unveiled under the eye of the Sahara Desert. Unveiling the Mysteries of the Green Sahara Prepare to be astonished as we delve into a revelation that puts even the Amazon rainforest to shame. The Sahara Desert that once thrived as a lush paradise, making the world's most celebrated jungles seem like mere gardens. It's a mind-blowing discovery that shatters our preconceived notions. Would you believe that this arid expanse was once a land of plenty, decorated with greenery, lakes, and an active ecosystem? In its glorious past, the Sahara was a vibrant Eden teeming with life. Scientists have revealed the extraordinary story of how this transformation occurred. It all began around 8,000 years ago, after the last ice age, when a subtle shift in Earth's tilt, from approximately 24 points 1 to the current 23 points 5 degrees, released a fall of events. This shift increased solar radiation and ignited the African monsoon, channeling moisture from the Atlantic Ocean into the Sahara. As a result, the barren desert began to sprout with vegetation, covering its sandy dunes, and arid caverns were transformed into sparkling lakes. The Sahara turned green, attracting an array of wildlife, including hippos, antelopes, elephants, and aurochs, the wild ancestors of today's domesticated cattle. For a while, the Sahara thrived as a grass and shrub-covered steppe, where both humans and animals flourished in harmony. However, this Edenic paradise was not destined to last indefinitely. A sudden climate change struck, and the Green Sahara disappeared with shocking speed, taking just 200 years to return to its arid state. Despite the gradual shift in solar radiation, the landscape's transformation was sudden, leaving behind only memories and the remnants of ancient human settlements. The silver lining in this tale is that the Sahara has the potential to bloom once more, However, our own doing through greenhouse gas releases has cast a shadow of uncertainty over when or if this revival will occur again. Unveiling the Secrets of the Ancient Giant Lake Hidden under the scorching Sahara Desert, scientists have stumbled upon an astonishing secret that defies imagination, a colossal ancient mega-lake. Brace yourselves for this incredible revelation. The Sahara is not merely an arid wasteland of endless sand, but rather it conceals a prehistoric marvel beneath its surface, a mega lake so vast that it once spanned over an astounding 42,000 square miles. What's more, this astounding geological wonder came into existence an astounding 250,000 years ago, shattering our preconceptions about the world's largest hot desert. The revelation of this hidden gem owes itself to the diligent efforts of geologist Ted Maxwell and his dedicated team. They unraveled this breathtaking mystery by poring over radar data generously provided by NASA's Space Shuttle Radar Topography Mission. It's astonishing what treasures can be unearthed while simply perusing datasets in moments of idle curiosity. But that's not all. Further investigations also unveiled traces of a smaller lake, covering an expansive region of approximately 18,600 square miles. Archaeologists, in their wisdom, speculate that these ancient lakes could have served as vital waypoints for human migration during the early and middle Pleistocene era. It's as if we've uncovered a priceless diamond amidst a pile of coal, a shimmering oasis of prehistory amidst the merciless desert. This awe-inspiring discovery rewrites the narrative of our planet's history, showing us that beneath even the harshest exteriors, nature holds secrets of unparalleled beauty and significance. The Sahara, a place synonymous with desolation and parched landscapes, conceals within its very heart evidence of the majesty of Earth's ancient past. 
the mystique of singing sand dunes. Within the ever-shifting Sahara sands, a captivating phenomenon was uncovered by scientists, the singing dunes. This captivating symphony, which could leave even the composer awestruck, has mystified humanity for centuries. From Marco Polo to Charles Darwin, witnesses have marvel-led at the whistling and booming sounds that emanate from these majestic dunes. It's as if the desert itself is trying to communicate a profound message or rehearse for a Carnegie Hall concert. Experts have woven intriguing theories around this mystical music. Some attribute it to the size and shape of the sand grains, while others see it as the desert's expression of pure joy. Regardless of the cause, the experience is utterly captivating, drawing adventurers and enthusiasts from all corners of the globe. The singing sand spans a range from gentle, low-frequency vibrations to a symphonic orchestra, rendering each performance unique. Recent scientific endeavors have even allowed us to recreate these captivating sounds in a laboratory. But nothing can quite compare to standing amidst the vast Sahara, where the desert songs itself, crafting a melodic record that echoes through the ages. It's living evidence of the attraction of our planet's most captivating landscapes. So if you ever find yourself wandering the endless Sahara dunes, keep your senses attuned, for you may stumble upon a concert like no other. Nature's Grand Symphony, where the desert sings its greatest hits, leaving a lasting memory etched upon your soul. Discovering the World's Oldest Graves While scientists were on a search for dinosaur bones in the Sahara, they stumbled upon a jaw-dropping revelation. A vast cemetery holding around 200 graves. What's truly astonishing is that these graves contained the remains of individuals who thrived in the Sahara some 10,000 years ago, during a time when the desert was a lush, green landscape. This ancient burial site dates back to the Stone Age and stands as the largest graveyard of its era to be revealed. Following this remarkable discovery, dedicated scientists dedicated an additional two years to meticulously investigate the region and the remnants it held. Alongside human remains, they discovered fragments of pottery, fish hooks, stone tools, harpoons crafted from animal bones, and an array of other artifacts. Within this captivating landscape, it is believed that two distinct cultures flourished, the Gobaro and the Venetian. The Gobaro people, recognized as the Kaifians, were a robust and towering group who inhabited the area from approximately 10,000 to 8,000 years ago. After this period, a millennium-long drought plagued the region. However, when the Sahara once again became fertile, the Tenarian culture moved in and occupied the area until about 5,000 years ago. Unlike the Gobero, the Tenarian were a physically smaller group with distinct pottery designs. What truly bewilders scientists is the peculiar way in which these ancient people were laid to rest. For context, they discovered the burial of an adult Tenarian male with his skull resting on part of a clay vessel. Another male was buried in a seated position atop the shell of a turtle. Perhaps the most poignant find was a grave containing a woman interred with two small children, their hands entwined with hers, all resting on a bed of flowers. These puzzling burial practices shed light on the profound and mysterious customs of these ancient societies leaving us with a sense of wonder and intrigue about the lives they led. The Mysterious World of Dinosaur Fossils The Sahara Desert, often seen as a vast and barren wasteland, holds an unexpected treasure trove for paleontologists. Incredibly, dinosaurs once roamed the sandy dunes of this arid expanse, offering a thrilling alternative to the fictional wonder of Jurassic Park. Specifically, the Moroccan Sahara has proven to be a goldmine of prehistoric discoveries. But these aren't just any run-of-the-mill dinosaur fossils. In the past year alone, researchers have unearthed some remarkable finds. Among them is the Mansurosaurus shahinai, a colossal dinosaur estimated to have weighed a jaw-dropping 5.5 tons. Imagine a lizard that massive. Moreover, the Sahara has yielded evidence of plesiosaurs, those long-necked marine reptiles from the age of dinosaurs. Astonishingly, some of these creatures lived in a hundred-million-year-old river system, hinting that certain plesiosaurs may have been freshwater inhabitants, an entirely new revelation. As for what lies ahead, the possibilities are tantalizing. Could they stumble upon a Tyrannosaurus rex hidden under the desert dunes? 
Might they unveil evidence that giant sloths once roamed these unforgiving sands? The future remains uncertain, but one thing is indisputable. The Sahara Desert conceals some genuinely spectacular paleontological treasures. So, if you yearn for a real-life adventure akin to Indiana Jones, consider packing your bags and embarking on an expedition to the Sahara. Who knows what extraordinary discoveries await? The ancient secrets buried beneath the seemingly barren landscape are an invitation to unravel the mysteries of Earth's distant past. The Astonishing Secrets of the Newly Discovered Meteor In the vast expanse of the Algerian Sahara Desert, scientists stumbled upon a remarkable meteorite, a true relic of the past. This meteorite is a staggering 4.56 billion years old, older than our very own Earth. But it's not just any ordinary space rock. It's a rare remnant from a protoplanet that was taking shape when our solar system was just a tender 2 million years old. This celestial treasure goes by the name ERG Check 02 or SC02. What sets it apart is its defiance of time itself. Back in the day, it was a seething mass of molten rock, with temperatures soaring to at least 1,220 degrees Celsius. It took a mind-boggling 10,000 years for it to cool and solidify. Imagine that, led by the intrepid Jean-Alex Barrett from the Université de Bretagne Occidentale in France. The research team speculates that ERG Check 02 narrowly escaped obliteration or absorption by larger rocky planets as they inched closer to the radiant sun. But the saga doesn't end there. This meteorite is a captivating chondrite, hailing from a parent body that sported a differentiated crust and core, much like our rocky planets. Its surface is rough and sandy, adorned with a mesmerizing array of green, yellow, and brown crystals. ERG Check 02 is a cosmic time capsule, an otherworldly relic that tells the story of our early solar system in its hues and textures. It's a testament to the wonders hidden within the vastness of our universe, a reminder of the captivating mysteries that continue to unfold before our eyes. The Majestic World of Enormous Sea Creatures Imagine the Sahara Desert, not as we know it today, but as a vast underwater world teeming with astonishing creatures. Yes, you read that right. The Sahara Desert was once home to an aquatic wonderland that would leave you in awe. In this ancient Sahara, there existed a colossal sea that stretched out over a mind-boggling 3,000 square kilometers. And here's the kicker. It wasn't just any ordinary sea. It was a sea that plunged to depths of 50 meters. Can you fathom the scale of it? Now let's dive into the inhabitants of this submerged Sahara spectacle. Picture a catfish that defies belief, reaching lengths of up to a staggering 1.6 meters. That's longer than most humans are tall. And if that doesn't leave you wide-eyed, think about sea snakes slithering through these waters, some growing to a jaw-dropping 12.3 meters. These are sea monsters of epic proportions. But what caused these aquatic giants to exist? Scientists propose a fascinating theory, gigantism. This means that during their time, these creatures experienced a phenomenal growth spurt, evolving into true titans of the sea. It's like Mother Nature decided to supersize her creations. Now let's zoom out a bit. Gigantism isn't entirely new. It's a phenomenon that has intrigued evolutionary biologists for years. When animals live on isolated islands, they tend to evolve into giant versions of themselves. Why? Well, it's thought that abundant resources and a lack of predators create the perfect conditions for gigantism to flourish. Unveiling the secrets of primitive existence in the unforgiving, arid wilderness. Imagine the Sahara Desert, not as we know it today, but as a vast underwater world teeming with astonishing creatures. Yes, you read that right. The Sahara Desert was once home to an aquatic wonderland that would leave you in awe. In this ancient Sahara, there existed a colossal sea that stretched out over a mind-boggling 3,000 square kilometers. And here's the kicker. It wasn't just any ordinary sea. It was a sea that plunged to depths of 50 meters. Can you fathom the scale of it? Now let's dive into the inhabitants of this submerged Sahara spectacle. Picture a catfish that defies belief, reaching lengths of up to a staggering 1.6 meters. That's longer than most humans are tall. And if that doesn't leave you wide-eyed, think about sea snakes slithering through these waters, 
some growing to a jaw-dropping 12.3 meters. These are sea monsters of epic proportions. But what caused these aquatic giants to exist? Scientists propose a fascinating theory, gigantism. This means that during their time, these creatures experienced a phenomenal growth spurt, evolving into true titans of the sea. It's like Mother Nature decided to supersize her creations. Now, let's zoom out a bit. Gigantism isn't entirely new. It's a phenomenon that has intrigued evolutionary biologists for years. When animals live on isolated islands, they tend to evolve into giant versions of themselves. Why? Well, it's thought that abundant resources and a lack of predators create the perfect conditions for gigantism to flourish. Sahara is mostly rock, not sand. The Sahara Desert, often stereotyped as a never-ending sea of dunes, is a true marvel that defies such simplistic labels. Contrary to popular belief, only about 30% of this colossal desert consists of sand. The remaining vast expanse is a mesmerizing mosaic of gravel and rocky terrain, creating an intricate tapestry of landscapes that would leave anyone in awe. While Hollywood movies may have painted a picture of endless dunes and camels, the Sahara is much more than that. It harbors an array of distinct features that enrich its diversity. Salt flats shimmer under the scorching sun, arid valleys wind their way through the rocky outcrops, and stone plateaus stand as ancient sentinels in this harsh environment. Mountains, rivers, streams, and even oases are woven into the desert's fabric, defying our expectations. Yes, you read that right. Rivers are coursing through this seemingly barren land. If you thought the dunes were the highest points in the Sahara, prepare to be amazed. The pinnacle of this desert's grandeur is not a towering dune, but an extinct volcano known as Mount Kuesi, majestically rising to an elevation of 3,415 meters. It dwarfs those sandy mounds and stands as a testament to the desert's remarkable diversity. So when someone mentions the Sahara, don't confine your imagination to a monotonous sea of sand. Picture a captivating and multifaceted landscape filled with hidden treasures and breathtaking vistas. This desert guards its secrets well, but for those intrepid souls who venture forth, it promises a journey of discovery, surprises, and wonder that will leave an indelible mark on their hearts. The Sahara is not just a desert, it is a world of marvels waiting to be unveiled. Sahara. The desert is growing bigger. The Sahara, Earth's largest hot desert, is undergoing a remarkable transformation, growing by about 10% in nearly a century. This expansion, however, is not a mere natural occurrence. It's partly a consequence of human-induced climate change. A recent study delving into rainfall data spanning back to 1920 sheds light on this intriguing phenomenon. Researchers meticulously combed through historical records, scrutinizing how evolving climatic conditions impacted the regions surrounding the Sahara's vast boundaries. What they uncovered was astonishing. While natural climate cycles play a role in this desert's fluctuation, Human activities are now in the spotlight. It's not just nature at play, it's us, too. The scientists meticulously examined temperature and rainfall patterns across Africa, with data stretching from 1920 to 2013. Their attention, like a magnet, gravitated toward a disconcerting trend. Dwindling precipitation in the Sahel, the semi-arid belt that connects the Sahara to Sudan's savannas. This anomaly held the key to unraveling the Sahara's expansion mystery. Typically, deserts expand and contract as they transition between wetter and drier phases. However, the Sahara's growth has been particularly alarming. The research seeks to reveal the intricate connections between shifting rainfall patterns and the Sahara's relentless sprawl. Intriguingly, it's not just a story of a desert getting bigger. It's a narrative of our changing world. It's evidence of how our actions, through climate change, are reshaping even the mightiest landscapes. This expansion serves as a stark reminder that we must address the profound consequences of our actions and work collectively to mitigate climate change. The Sahara's relentless march is a call to action, a wake-up call that we must heed. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. In a jaw-dropping revelation that has left the world in awe, Scientists have unveiled a groundbreaking discovery hidden beneath the scorching sands of the Sahara Desert. 
This remarkable revelation promises to reshape our understanding of Earth's history and open new doors to scientific exploration. Imagine this. Joe Rogan, renowned for his podcast prowess, just announced a sudden discovery under the eyes of the Sahara Desert. This isn't the plot of a sci-fi movie, it's a real-life scientific marvel that has captured the collective imagination. For years, the Sahara has been a mysterious expanse, known for its vast dunes and harsh, unforgiving terrain. Yet, beneath this seemingly barren landscape, an astonishing secret lay hidden a vast underground reservoir of water. This newfound aquifer, buried deep beneath the desert's surface, is estimated to contain billions of gallons of pristine water, dating back thousands of years. What makes this discovery all the more captivating is its potential to address one of humanity's most pressing challenges, water scarcity. As our world grapples with the effects of climate change and growing populations, this newfound source of fresh water could be a game-changer, offering a lifeline to thirsty regions across Africa and beyond. Joe Rogan's announcement has set the world abuzz with excitement, and rightfully so. This discovery under the watchful eyes of the Sahara Desert isn't just evidence of human curiosity and perseverance. It's a glimpse into a world we never knew existed, as we stand on the cusp of a new era of discovery, one thing is clear. The Sahara Desert has yielded its secrets, and they are nothing short of awe-inspiring. What is your opinion about Rogan's announcement? Let us know in the comments section below. The Unusual Subsurface Ice Deposits The Sahara Desert never ceases to be puzzling, a place scorched by relentless heat where ice seems like an impossible dream. But under this hot furnace, a revelation shook the world of geologists and climate scientists. They discovered a colossal stash of hidden ice. Yes, ice! They didn't stumble upon this icy treasure by accident. They used high-tech tools like satellites and ground-penetrating radar. They even got their hands dirty with on-site drilling in a place known for its blazing temperatures and lack of rain. This ice discovery is mind-boggling. Scientists scratched their heads, wondering how ice survived in this scorching oven and why it didn't instantly turn to vapor. The answer lies in history. This ice likely formed thousands of years ago during the last ice age when the Sahara was cooler and wetter. Rainfall turned into ice, got buried under layers of sand and rock and stayed cool and safe. But here's the kicker. This ice has secrets. It holds trapped air bubbles and particles that can spill the beans on ancient weather patterns. It's like a time capsule for climatologists, helping them decode the past and predict the future of our climate. But wait, there's more. Astrobiologists are thrilled because this ice hints at the possibility of life-sustaining water lurking in seemingly hostile places, like Mars. If ice can survive under the Sahara Desert, why not on the Red Planet? This discovery could be a lifeline for future Mars missions, or even uncover signs of extraterrestrial life. In a scorching desert, hidden beneath the surface, lies a frozen enigma that's rewriting our understanding of Earth's history and expanding our horizons to the stars. Lost Civilization in the Sahara An astonishing archaeological revelation has stirred the very essence of our curiosity in the heart of the vast Sahara. A trove of over a hundred fortress settlements, emerging from the shadows of a long-lost civilization, has ignited a flame of excitement and fascination. These formidable fortresses, once belonging to the enigmatic and advanced Garamantes, have bridged a temporal chasm, spanning from the 2nd century BC to the 7th century AD. The allure of this discovery is not confined to the beautifully preserved walled towns, villages, and farms that stand tall, some reaching an astonishing 13 feet. It resides equally in the revelation of the Garamantes' sophisticated accomplishments. Contrary to misconceptions, they were not mere desert wanderers. They possessed a writing system and showcased remarkable agricultural mastery, employing ingenious irrigation techniques. Their lifeblood coursed through underground canals, tapping into prehistoric water reservoirs. They cultivated a diverse bounty of crops, from Mediterranean staples like wheat, barley, figs, and grapes, to sub-Saharan African treasures like sorghum, pearl millet, and cotton. Yet it is the mystery of veiling the decline of this ancient civilization that keeps us teetering on the edge of our seats. 
Researchers speculate that dwindling groundwater supplies, the collapse of the Roman Empire, and escalating conflicts in the Mediterranean region may have dealt pivotal blows to their downfall. It's a captivating mystery that ensnares our imaginations. This remarkable discovery carries monumental implications for Libya's antiquity, offering the Libyan people a chance to reconnect with their long-suppressed history. It compels us to reevaluate historical accounts and, at long last, bestow upon the Garamantes the credit they so rightly deserve. In the desert sands, an epic tale is unfolding, rewriting the narratives of forgotten civilizations and rekindling our appreciation for the enduring marvels of humanity's past. Nature's Ultimate Showstopper Imagine nature's colossal bullseye, the Eye of the Sahara, spanning a staggering 40 kilometers wide. It's like an invitation to a cosmic game of darts, so enticing that even astronauts cruising in their spaceships above can't resist its allure. It's visible from outer space, a celestial beacon for those daring space explorers. Back in the swinging 60s, those groovy Gemini astronauts decided to capture this mind-boggling creation, like a snapshot to keep tabs on, just in case pesky aliens decided to drop by. But it wasn't just a quick click. They were on a mission. Later, the super-smart Landsat satellite joined the party, offering even more tantalizing glimpses. It spilled some serious beans about the eye's size, height, and extent, providing us with the inside scoop on this Sahara secret. Now here's where it gets spicy. Some geologists initially thought the eye of the Sahara was a result of a cosmic collision, like an extraterrestrial object crashing into our dear planet. But after some serious digging, these rock experts unveiled the truth. This geological spectacle was entirely Earth-made. Mother Earth herself was the mastermind. So how did this natural wonder form? In the distant past, before the desert claimed its territory, the Eye of the Sahara was the coolest club you've ever been to. During this epic party, winds were swirling, rivers were flowing, and lakes were shimmering. Meanwhile, deep below the Earth's surface, volcanic activity decided to join in. It lifted the landscape like a boss, pushing up layers of sandstone and rocks. But, as all parties do, this volcanic extravaganza had to calm down. The music faded, the lights dimmed, and wind and water erosion took the stage. They slowly nibbled away at the domed layers of rock, and over time, the region settled and collapsed, giving birth to the remarkable circular eye feature. Nature's masterpiece indeed. Sahara Dust Feed Amazon Plants the Sahara Desert and the Amazon Rainforest, two vastly different and distant ecosystems, may seem worlds apart, but they share an unexpected and intricate connection through a tan cloud of dust. This dust carried across the Atlantic Ocean turns out to be a vital source of nourishment for the Amazon's vibrant plant life, specifically in the form of phosphorus. NASA satellite data has allowed scientists to quantify the extent of this transcontinental journey for the first time. The dust originates from the Bodell Depression in Chad, an ancient lake bed rich in phosphorus. Annually, it provides an estimated 22,000 tons of phosphorus to the Amazon basin. To put this in context, it's roughly equivalent to the amount of phosphorus lost due to rain and flooding. Yet, the Sahara's contribution is even more staggering when considering the sheer volume of dust transported. Every year, approximately 182 million tons of dust are whisked away by the wind and weather, a colossal quantity akin to 6,189,290 semi-trucks loaded with dust. This dust embarks on a remarkable journey spanning 100 miles across the Atlantic Ocean, with around 132 million tons suspended in the air as it nears the eastern coast of South America. Meanwhile, 27.7 million tons settled on the surface of the Amazon basin. This revelation of the Sahara's dust acting as a vital nutrient source for the Amazon underscores the profound interconnectedness of Earth's diverse ecosystems. It's evidence of the ingenuity of Mother Nature, who always has unexpected tricks up her sleeve. Who would have guessed that these two distinct worlds, the arid Sahara and the lush Amazon, are so intimately linked? Perhaps in the grand scheme of nature, they have their intricate exchange. Sand from the Sahara for rain from the Amazon. Strange stone. 
A peculiar stone emerged in 1996 in the vast and mysterious Sahara Desert, sparking intrigue among scientists. Dubbed the Hypatia Stone, it defied categorization as it displayed extraterrestrial origins, yet it defied conventional definitions of meteorites or comets. Recent studies have unraveled even deeper mysteries, suggesting it may predate our solar system or hail from interstellar realms. The stone's origin story leads back to the Libyan desert's glassy terrain. Here, a colossal impact event flash-fried the sand, creating the unique yellow silica glass scattered across the landscape. This connection fueled the notion that Hypatia might indeed be a comet nucleus. However, the stone's true origin transcends simplicity. Mineral composition analysis unveiled its distinctiveness from the rest of the solar system's celestial bodies. Billions of years ago, our solar system comprised a vast cloud of dust and gas encircling the sun. Over time, these elements coalesced into planets and asteroids, yet Hypatia defies conformity. It harbors metallic inclusions unseen anywhere else, challenging our understanding of cosmic origins. Further scrutiny of the mineral grains within these inclusions uncovered compositions previously unrecorded on Earth or elsewhere. This revelation hints at Hypatia's existence before our solar system's formation, causing scientists to reassess the timeline of cosmic creation. Intriguingly, while the stone's rocky outer layer may have post-dated the solar system's birth, its inner core challenges established theories of celestial genesis. This discovery invites us to reevaluate our comprehension of the universe's birth, potentially rewriting the narrative of how celestial objects came into being. The Hypatia Stone, steadfast in its mysterious origins, beckons us to delve deeper into the cosmic puzzle that surrounds it. Thanks for watching. Which of these revelations did you find the most astounding? Let us know your opinions in the comments below.